Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 23 of Project Architect. And um, I'm doing a bit of maintenance and also I want to build, my main goal today is to build the, um, the power, power ball thing for um, a very technical term there for um, Draconic Evolution because um, in between episodes, I made the uh, Draconic tier, I made the Awakened Draconium ingot. And, but I'm realizing we're going to need more power. And also, I mean, this is, this is um, a mod pack where you don't have to worry about stuff because we've got EMC. And I mean, this might be the only time I'm going to get to do Draconic um evolution in a while so it's kind of like if i can make a huge um energy storage is it energy yeah and, it's, and you know a huge reactor type thing to store like infinite amounts of energy why not you know bigger the better so i'm going for the ultimate tier which is tier eight and that holds it's it's like infinite um, storage basically so that's what I'm aiming for because I can do it so um, I was just cleaning up the I was just cleaning up out here with the smeltery um, I wanted to get rid of the blazing blood that was in here and I filled up this tank and then I realized that people might not know um, how to empty the tank apart from using you can use pipes and stuff but also you can put the seared fuel tank. I don't know if you can put any tank, but you can put the seared fuel tank under here. Sorry, the scorch fuel tank, but I'm guessing it would work for the um, seared fuel tank as well. And you um, you right click on it and it empties into the container. It's as simple as that. Um, I don't know if that was a mechanic before. I I really don't because I never used to do that kind of thing with, with um, thinkers. It used to be kind of like oh it's not coming out and then you you know you either break it or try and like find a pipette or something to um to get the the stuff out so you can do that now there you go that's it also um i've been I mean, I've been watching other YouTubers, obviously. I mean, I watch loads of people. And I realized that while you're flying, you can, you know, they can place blocks in the air. And I could never do that. I, I went looking recently and they were like, oh, you need to press shift and spacebar and jump while you do it. Sneak and jump. And I would do that and I would just drop back down. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Um, and thanks to JM3. He gave me the answer. He was like, you do hold hold shift and um and jump, but in the gem armor it doesn't work, which is what I'd been trying it on. So I changed to um refined no crystallized obsidian armor. And while it doesn't look as awesome as the gem armor, I think the stats are better. So I've got more I've got extra hearts and stuff, which I don't think I had before. And my armor seems to have gone round again and I've got more shields so I'm sticking with this one because I don't really need um don't really need the flight because we have the rending gale so that's given us flight and um and yeah I can you know I can shift click go and get this done so First things first. No, not round there. No, you're not going to, are you? And now we're too close. <sighs> I don't need to be that close. Yep, yes, that's it. No? There you go. Right, so I was looking at the Draconic Evolution uh, wiki. I was watching chosen's episode yesterday is yesterday's episode he made he also made this 
but I wasn't watching watching I was more listening than anything else so um you know I'll still end up making mistakes and stuff but I was was getting a couple of tips and stuff from it and um he mentioned that the wiki the information on the wiki even though it's for an older um what's the word an older version of draconic it is still valid that hasn't changed all right so i need to make the energy core i need to make the stabilizers they have to be on the same plane and a, a maximum of 16 blocks away and then to build it stabilizers are invalid now that's tier one i don't want to do tier one okay why is the core invalid All right, let's have a look. Uh, energy core, energy core stabilizer. Energy core, is that coming in the recipe? No. Why is that invalid? Oh, because I need to assemble it. Oh, I don't know if the build guide works. One, let's go out and have a look. I don't know. Maybe I need to have the blocks. That's the next thing. Um, right, let us... Where is my... I still haven't cleared out my inventory, by the way. So, apologies in advance. Still haven't cleared it out. I fell down a rabbit hole of stuff. But don't ask me what the stuff was. Okay, um, I don't think we'll need that. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I've got hiccups. Don't think we'll need any of those. Leave my time in a bottle and my pickaxe. Right. Put you up in the top. Now. I need... All right, I've done the 36 energy core stabilizers. And when you came in, you probably noticed that they were in um, a circle of eight and then you put the ninth one in the middle and it makes this attractive circle which is pretty cool all right then if i right click on the core it tells me the core is invalid but i need to build up stuff around the around the core advanced stabilizers required isn't that the advanced stabilizer i don't know well anyway we'll see right so for the core i need 786 draconium blocks which is about 13 stacks so helps if i could spell i think i do that every episode um yeah what was it 786 there you go so that's one that's eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen yeah if I take that out, there's seven, six, yeah. That's about 13 blocks. Why did I come out? Because I still need to go back in. Right, let's move you there. And then also we need 378 awakened draconium blocks, which is about six stacks. Now, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Right, so, do I need an empty hand? Probably. Right, core is invalid. Assemble core. So if I go out, it will start making the big old ball for us. Which is pretty cool. It's taking all the stuff out of our inventory, and it's doing that. And we took all of those blocks out, and I've only gone down about a billion emc because it was i think 45 it might not even have been a billion so you know i'm trying to see if i can max out my emc and just get all the nines i would be very happy if i could do that but um we'll see how it goes go up a bit and i probably should have used the watch flow in time on this or something but never mind i can always speed this up a bit 
Oh yeah, I didn't make the Awakened Draconium on on camera because it's pretty much, you know, the same thing we did yesterday. You put stuff in, you get it to charge, and then it will craft it. Um, the only change that I made is that I put the, I mean, it, I realized that I needed um, the lower tier crafter. I put a second floor in the um, in the compact machine and I put the lower tier crafter up there. But then at least if we need, I well, probably won't need it after I've gone and made it, but at least if we need it, it's there. All right. Oh, we almost finished. I think we're almost finished. Let's have a look. Oh, we almost. See, I like it when mods do things for you. They don't make it, you know, um, excessively. I shouldn't say excessively, overly hard, because I'm pretty sure in one twelve you had to place all of this by hand. Might be wrong. Okay, we've got that. What's the problem? Doesn't it turn into thing? Okay, all right. Um, so stabilizers are valid. The core is valid, and we need to activate. Wow. <laughs> that is is cool. That is pretty cool. That let's let's go down and have a look. That is the only thing about this, it doesn't drop down like the thing. That is we've you know I think we've hun we've got a mini sun. I didn't want, I was going to put it in the cave, but then I thought it's not actually going to fit properly. So I'm glad I didn't. I'm kind of liking that. Kind of liking that. So now we need the input. Should we deactivate this? We should deactivate it. Okay, capacity almost infinite. Charge. There's nothing in it right now and transfer nothing. All right, let's deactivate it. Oh, that is, oh, that is cool. Right, so now we need, um, there's those energy things. Ah, <sighs> have to, let me, let me bring up the wiki. All right, now, construction. Oh, energy pylons. That's what we need. All right, so let's make two energy pylons. Pylon. No, not, not a thing anymore. Oh, I did make it. Oh, that would, okay. When I was making the energy core, it said I didn't make it. And I was confused because I was, thinking I did make it I remember making it now I'm looking at the energy pylon I realized that's what I made instead of the core so because they look very similar but it's not quite the same thing if I get the core let's have a look yeah very similar so yeah that had me confused because I'm thinking I did make the core I remember making the core no I made the pylons <laughs> I didn't make the core Okay, so the pylon, a block of glass must be placed on top of it to make it, make it function. Alright, um, let's go and make it stop raining. Oh, and I put the, the sleep charm as well on, so then I don't spend loads of time sleeping. That's why I jumped out of bed as soon as I <laughs> jumped in. Okay, right. Now, I do remember that um, Chosen had gone six blocks out. I don't know why he picked six. I 
I don't know if that's just an arbitrary number or whatever. I, I don't know. But I'll copy what he did and I'll put six. One, two, three. help if I could see my keyboard. I can't see my keyboard. One, two, three, five, six. Okay, so that is off. Okay, so that's there. Let's take these off. I have to admit, this mod pack has been fun and there's a huge there's loads of things you can learn I mean like for example um, I went and dropped in waystones because I'm used to waystones and then the draconic stuff the dislocators I could have done those instead and it's like I don't know anything about um, dislocators you know but it's it's like it's a, it's it's a nice learning curve I mean it's easy what do I want? Glass. Is this Minecraft glass? Yes, it is. We want two, don't we? Ah. Okay, so energy pylon. That's going in. And then you put this cup up so I can see what's going on. Eep. Nope. And then we want it. Oh, there, there's a um a tool. There's something. Oh, there's like a wrench or something. Um, this thing, crystal binder. No, that's not. It. Although it could be, I I don't know. I don't know if I want to make a reactor because that's one of those things that can go boom. And I don't want to go boom, not really, not if I can, you know, if I can help it. All right, let me bring back up the page. Um, the direction of energy can be observed by the effects okay so that's pointing in the other one was pointing in though right that's also pointing in but let's turn it on I guess I don't know That's pulsing in. Is that pulsing out? That is out. Oh. Is that the particle effects they're talking about? No, but that's also... Yeah, that's going into the sphere. Oh, we get that. And that is going out. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. So one other, very subtle though. All right. One other thing that um, Chosen had said, which, which is something that I've never really understood, is that you have, you use your flux network as a, as a buffer, as a kind of battery. And you have a network going in and a network coming out. So the stuff go the net all the energy that you make will go into the core. So this side would be in. And then anything that you need to use will be coming out of the core. And this side going out. So let's have a look. Control G. So we need two plugs. I did, um... 
No, it's not a plug, would it? It'd be a point? Adding energy to your flux. No, one would be a plug. And one would be a point? Removing energy from your network. Okay. So this is the plug. So this is going in. Okay. Um, so that would be input. Everything is going into this, right? This doing stuff now? Nope. No, 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 no. I've got it wrong. This is going in. This is going in. Um, no, I don't think I've got that right either. All right, I am going to have a look and see if I can work out what I'm doing wrong, and then I'll be back. Okay, I don't know what I did, but <laughs> it's working now. So this is the input. So all of our power is going into here. And then this is the output. And all of our power should be coming out. So anything that we want to use would be coming out from here. I have to go around and change all of the machines. But to change the direction of the arrows, because the arrows show what way you're going, you have to click on the, the disco ball and it it changes the arrows. I'm not going to do it because I know I'll mess it up somehow. But that's basically... Actually, I could probably do it with, a, um, with one on the floor. But this one is going in, as you can see. So that's going into the network. The other side is coming out. Let's just drop down. I don't have night vision on. That actually looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. I hope you want to go backwards. I want to go backwards. And all I can think of is Star Wars. That's no moon. <laughs> I, you know what? I like that. I really do. But yeah, let me, oh, hold on. Hold on. What is this again? This is the energy pylon. Right. Go down on the roof. Control G. Energy pylon. And that's the core. There's the pylon. And we want some glass. Um, glass? Glass. So, you've got your energy pile on. You put your glass on top of it. Ready? And it will change into that, so you know it's, it's activated. Then, to get to change it from input to output you have to hit the the ball so yes it's going out but the particles are coming into the ball that's a bit weird but anyway never mind the particles going around the ball you have to look at the arrows on the block so you click it and the arrows are going in so it's going into the core and you click it again the arrows are going out going out of the core and that's how you know it's activated All right so that's done and i do love the quark shards quark shards they turn your glass but you don't get any wastage I, I, that should be just 
you know, modded. Oh, not modded. That should be just Minecraft. Full stop. Okay, so we have a little bit of time. Probably got about 10 minutes left on my um, of recording. So I want to at least... Oh, there's a, there's a boss. Should we one-shot the boss? And there's a creeper. Wonder who he was. I don't know who he was, but let's get his magical stuff. Because we can. Right. Um before I got sidetracked, where is my it's in here? Um Oh yeah. I had to change all of these. Forgot about that. I really don't feel like grappling with it. Although, where is. I want that. And. Where's my travel stuff? I want you. So, actually, no. We're just going to go around and change all the points, and then I'm going to finish for today. I'm not going to start anything else because that would be counterintuitive. I've already changed all the point, all, all the plugs in the power station. So it's now changing all the points around the base. If we come here, so now this should be output. Yeah. Think that was okay? Where are you connected to? Oh, I think it's just connected to the one plug here. So if we take our Lux configurator and copy it, we can paste it here. Right, so output that is input awesome so let's fix this back and let's see what else Three. Five. um where is what did i do with the travel staff i keep moving it um diamond shore teleportation and sharpness nice sharpness four okay cool Right, let's see where else we need to go. Um, trading Hall, nothing. Enchanting Area, nothing. Power Station, we've done. Tinker Station, there's nothing out there with power. Uh, the Mob Farm. Actually, there is nothing out here with power. And then there's this. So, yes, and these have all drains now, which is fine. Should be out. Test will be this. The um what do you call this thing? Refined storage network. If that stays up, then we know it's working. Alright, let's tell it to do something. What was it that it didn't like whenever it decided it was going to let's make a no. Let's make a, a pattern. Uh, Dimlet. Craft one. Okay, that held up. So it's working. Yep, yeah, it's working. Excellent. I got nothing else connected to the network. Oh, um, in the travel agency. We have. I forgot. These. Yeah, that was smart. Oh, did the original one get moved? The original one must have gotten moved. If it's gone and dropped me in the middle of the forest. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. 
Um, yeah, I told you you have to be careful when you go on when you go anywhere near the um the teleporters. You go, you know, remotely close, and it will it will just teleport you. I didn't mean to do that, as you probably realise. Um, let's go this way. Oh, for a minute I thought it was going to teleport me again. Uh, there. Ah, sugar. Input, we want output. Because I was crouching at the same time. Oh, God. Because I was crouching at the same time, that's why. Right, we've changed everything that I can think of right now. Um, let's go back out and... Think of station. I should put another one up there, actually. There is some kind of angel block. Okay, you're... What got hit? I don't know what got hit. There is an angel block. Although, to be honest, we don't ever need to come up here. Because once it's set, that's it. It's going to take 148,000 years to, um, to fill up the ball. So yeah, I can quite happily play Minecraft for 150,000 years. Yeah. So yeah, next episode, we're going to... I'll probably start it in between but we need to start looking at power and get it making making more reactors and the thing is do we go and make a react six reactors of every tier or do we just make six nitro reactors that i don't know but we'll have a think about it i'll see how it goes so actually it's night time. This is a good time to take a picture. Okay. Go back just a little bit. Turn that off and F2. Yep, that's not what I wanted. Did I press F2? Yeah. I pressed F3 though. I shouldn't have, but it was F2 that we wanted. But yeah, I should have. I was, now I'm just paranoid. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I'm happy with my spinning orange no moon disco ball thing. It's looking pretty cool. It's looking cool. We'll see how much we can get, how much we can fill it with by the end of the, um, by the end of the, the series. And we'll see how much EMC we can get by the end of the series. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.